what my influence student learning agency I mean this is a very core question I'm dealing with uh, in my recent research work uh, and which can hopefully translate to information regarding how we can as educators can better support the students development of their agency uh, one of the major uh, interesting outcome from research from different uh, environments is uh, the, the learners prior experiences um, to a large scale defines their interpersonal sources for example if they are used to big classrooms um, relying on teachers and textbooks as their authorized um, knowledge um, they were used to competition based at, uh, environment instead of uh, uh, collaborating with each other and assessment that focusing on standardization and uh, yeah prioritizing the reproduction of the knowledge the student might encounter difficulty in building uh, new beliefs so so educators show focus on or prioritize how to utilize students prior experiences to shift them to a positive influence um, the belief play an important role in how they can be engaged to be motivated to any new ways of teaching or learning you are planning for and the self-directed learning at the behavioral or action level um, it's very much focused on different um, yeah, theoretical framework about self-regulated learning or directed learning in terms in times of uh, complexity um, whether people or learners are able to self-organize themselves adapting to the new situation is not only for learner agency but also a very important matter for professional agency for any one of us so are they able to set up their new goals um, de depending on the new environment uh, and visions and be able to activate one's own prior experiences following their plans uh, and such uh, one of the major findings from many uh, research I've been involved in over the past years show students when it comes when in times of uh, uncertainty or crisis they always report the difficulty in management of time they had learned good strategies they they appreciate maybe they even build new beliefs about new uh, teaching and learning methods but the management of time might become constraints for their own strategies for example we wish our students to be able to do self-reflection individually and uh, in a team but when there's no time provided, they, uh, they will certainly skip that. So to support students uh, better self-organize their own learning, the, the time uh, management skill is, uh, is a key matter for both educators and the students themselves. The team dynamic is, uh, I mean, can be a lot of, uh, gave a lot of advantages to learning, but at the same time can become constraints. Uh, working together with different learning styles and personalities and do they build trust together and efficient communication uh, do they how do they build a common understanding of what leadership means um, one of the interesting um, observations in in the region uh, where I'm in the past years like uh, in the Middle East contact where students and also in the Chinese contact where students have no or little prior experience of working in team they tend to understand teamwork as a way to divide the tasks distribute them and then work individually and put them back together also with the time constraints so really what does it mean by collaborative work and how each part can uh, learn from others shares uh, it takes some time for them to really understand agree and build it and and many in certain culture and contact students are not used to expose to problems and conflicts so they swallow the conflicts and move on uh, that which also constrain the club the meanings of collaboration so as educators how we are able to support them asking them questions about their goals uh, supports them to active participate in the way they agreed on 
uh, support them with the skills of communication and coping with uh, social uh, yeah, challenges and to kind of co-construct meanings together. Um, it's, uh, it's not just a matter of we change our teaching methods, but also support students to be at the same page with us. So, uh, and then the, the, the institutional contact, uh, what is the social cultural ideology of t being a teacher? Uh, what is the culture of collaboration? How do instructors, educators get readiness for change? And how do we as uh, in, in institutional environment support with the training activities to all? And, and one of the most important thing is, uh, is there such a, a constructive alignment in the whole institute? Do the assessments assess uh, a, a policy support such change? If students are exposed to new teaching learning methods, but they are still assessed in a very conservative way, uh, that may not help them to understand the point of change teaching methods. So after all, teaching method is only part of the picture. And so do they have the facilities, materials to do, are uh, doing uh, student center learning if you only have 45 minutes of your teaching schedule, that also make it difficult. And, and one of the issues is also in like a in a course based uh, environment, if every course is enhancing different activities as adding on to lectures, the students will be burnt out. Uh, so, so there are lots of institutional issues to consider. And I mean, there is no one way to support students to become more uh, agentic professionals. And first of all, we educators have to do so ourselves and support students' communication involving them in the decision-making, which is easier to say than do. But our facilitation and support of learning goals is, uh, I mean, learning skills, is, uh, it's important before we really implement uh, any particular strategies. So, in case you're not familiar, um, spatial skills are uh, a cognitive ability, the, the capacity to understand, remember, and transform the orientation.